Hello guys and welcome to a new GTK tutorial. Today we are going to talk about, uh, or better say today we are going to learn a new widget and of course I'm going to create a new playlist for it. And probably you, uh, you will have two questions about why I'm doing this now and I didn't, did, I didn't do it earlier. And before I'm talking to you about this, uh, I want to tell you that the widget I'm talking about today, it is uh, GTK window. And like I said, probably have some questions. So why now? Or maybe you will see some functions which I already used them in the very first tutorial, which I gave up at the very beginning of uh, this um, channel which I created on YouTube but I decide that uh, it should be a difference even if I'm calling the same functions again or part of them because here is not about creating an application it is about uh, the GTK window widget and it should have its own uh, playlist as well and uh, about other thing why now well um, you're in probably if you followed my videos at least until uh, the first 120 I think which uh, I count them and then I dropped a number of them because it's not uh, useful anymore at that point is if you follow them from 1 to 120 uh, you don't need to follow the last two videos uh, in the same order because uh, at this point uh, you already understand everything I am uh, talking about or you should understand okay uh, so the reason was because um, like I said because um, if someone start to explain you about uh, GTK window and uh, it's going to talk only about uh, plain window which you can create it and you put some information in it without uh, so much uh, difference maybe you will ask yourself uh, what the heck it's too complicated me I was thinking like that I, I thought that it's better to show you how you create a window in two words and then I'd show you how you put widgets inside it and then you get used with that and you get used with other widgets as well and now that you understand what widgets are, you, you already saw some of them which uh, we already learned, then we can really talk about the GTK window, because it, because it is uh, very important, of course. And the GTK window, which you find it uh, in the object hierarchy right here, it has a lot of functions. Don't be scared about these functions, even if there are so many, because it's not important. The same story goes with properties style properties, uh, CSS better said. For us, uh, signals, you see there are not so many, types and values, uh, and the object hierarchy, as you can see how it's working. And of course, it's description, which is uh, basically just a GTK window is a top level window, which can contain other widgets. Wind windows uh, normally uh, have decorations that are under the control of the windowing system and allow the user to manipulate the windows like sizing, moving, closing and so on. Basically, uh, you saw already a lot of information at the moment when you uh, when you saw the GTK header bar. For some of you which you didn't um, check that playlist, I strongly suggest you to go back first and watch the GTK uh, header bar playlist because it is very important. I also suggesting you to check the GTK di dialogue and uh, about dialogue because those two, or, me, or better said those three playlists because GTK is with uh, hidden bar is also together with those other uh, playlists like uh, dialogue and about dialogue. They are all those three very, very, very important to understand them before you come here to inside uh, to come here and check this playlist because here there are a lot of information which you will see which belongs to those 
uh, widgets and um, if I didn't have those widgets then I had to create some other uh, information to explain you like for example uh, if we go now to uh, description no sorry to to the functions and uh, let me see where is it uh, and then you understand uh, after that what it would just say you see for example this function gtk window get transient 4 says fetches the transient parent for this window so see uh, gtk window set transient 4 if i click right here right now says dialog windows you see dialog windows should be set transient for the main application window they were spawned from this allow window manager for example to keep the dialog on the top of the main window or center the dialog of the main window whatever anyway i'm strongly suggest like i said check the gtk header bar and gtk uh, dialog together with gtk allow about dialog before you follow this playlist is very important for you to understand it's not just about this function there is also some other functions very important there is a very very special function for those of you which you already followed follow the gtk header bar and you saw how many things we did to take care to have our own window and you saw at some point that you cannot have um, decoration turn it on or true and also have a header bar because basically you had two uh, title bars if I uh, if I can um, explain it myself like that uh, if you set the close uh, the the close button for example on the on the header bar to be shown and you have the decoration also then you had those two uh, those two buttons uh, on your uh, main window which is not a thing which you have to you, you want to have but for that you you learn how to set the decoration off and then you 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 had to take care about the, all those decoration for yourself and you had only the header bar at the main title um, of your of your application for that there is a very special function which uh, i didn't talk to you about that because like i said it is important the way how you see these things before you move on to the next ones so uh, this function i'm talking about it is called gtk window set title bar and as you can see it says sets a custom title bar for the window basically a typical widget uh, used here is gtk header bar you see as it provides various features expected of a title bar while allowing the addition of uh, child widgets of child widgets so you remember how the way how we were packing those those uh, childs those uh, widgets and so on and uh, basically what this uh, function does so that you understand it creates your title bar which you have it and puts inside that title bar a header bar so basically you have them both where you see only one which is the gtk header bar we are going to come to that point at some point but not now i want to show you a collection of functions which uh, i prepared for you uh, they are not all the all functions we are going to have all those functions uh, later in this playlist but uh, again uh, we need to learn new things before we move to uh, to those functions uh, which uh, we are not going to talk um, um in these uh, next coming videos at least uh whatever I'm, I'm not sure how many anyway uh what what i did select for for those um, functions are uh, how we create a window how we get its type how we set its position we get its position we set a title the title is just a title name nothing special uh, and then uh, we decide about the title bar should be hidden or, or not if we maximize the window uh, and then the we are going to set its default size we are going to decide if it's sizable or not we are going to see how we can maximize and unmaximize it basically something like this okay and then uh, we are going to move the window for from a position to another position where you decide to have it and so on uh, the GTK window icon I find something like if you drop it to your text uh, text um, bar and so on 
and uh, we are going to talk about the full screen and full screen and of course I'm going to need your help about this function because uh, this function um, I'm still not sure about it I mean it has uh, it takes three parameters and the last argument which you pass it it should be the monitor and the monitor which you should pass it is the monitor which you are using it me I'm not using one more than one monitor so uh, it will be always zero but when we are going to come to that part we are going to talk about a little bit more and then we are going to talk about keep above and below deletable and so on close window decoration you already should be familiar with this one mnemonics you already should be familiar with this ones as well when you use the buttons and of course about the focus there are a lot of focus um, and uh, of course the default widgets and um, activate default and then activate focus about the model and transients for the things which I told you when the uh, GTK window said destroy with parent those things uh, basically um, I'm going just to make a reference on them because like I already told you at the beginning you should follow the GTK dialog and GTK uh, about dialog there is the place where you get more information about these functions and then we are going to talk about icons there are a lot of way to create icons for your application and the last one the 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 almost last one is, is the set title bar the thing which I was talking about here and the last function it is GTK window set interactive debugging uh, you already saw the way how you can uh, inspect with a GTK inspector your application and uh, that's bring you a lot of information and you can inspect uh, every possible uh, application with this inspector but there is also a function like uh, GTK window set interactive debugging which allows you to decide if someone does have that opportunity to inspect your own application you can turn it off and you just kill the debugger okay but until then uh, we are going to start from the beginning and I'm going to stop now for the first video and we are going to see in the next video how those things working that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys